Morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Devin Lauder. Thank you for appearing on such short notice. Dr. Goldberg informs me that she's worked with many of you before. So, doctor, if you could briefly introduce your staff. Certainly. This is my husband, Felix, the best mental medium I've ever known. Next to him is our video technician, Ginger Kowalski, and next to her is our physical medium, Whitney O'Shea. And uh, these three gentlemen, I'm afraid I don't know. I assume then that one of you is Mr. Murphy. Uh, yes, sir, Frank Murphy. We spoke on the phone. Certainly. Uh, these are Tony Fasenny and Levi Jackson, my best operatives. His only operatives. That makes us the best. Fine. I realize a lot of you have questions, so allow me to give you a brief history. Two years ago, my Uncle Avery died and left me his home in Solano County. It's a Gothic mansion built in 1861, which would be worth five to six million dollars if it were surrounded by prime vineyards. Unfortunately, the adjoining property is a county-owned cemetery. This, for me, makes the house uninhabitable, but a stipulation of my uncle's will forbids me from either selling it or tearing it down. If I attempt to do either, the property will be donated to the county, no doubt to add on to the cemetery. Because of this, I've tried renting the property out several times, but no one's ever been able to stay longer than three nights. They've all been driven away, scared off by the ghost of my Uncle Avery. Excuse me. Yes. Are we on can camera? Let the man finish, Vicente. I realize it's hard to believe, but I've been there. I've heard those horrible, ungodly shrieks and moans. The house has remained unoccupied ever since. I had pretty much decided to let the county have it when I read of a bed and breakfast inn in New Orleans that claims to be haunted. And because of this, it's doing incredible business. Suddenly, haunted houses are the in thing. This seemed like the perfect solution to my problem, so I quickly renovated Lauder House into a bed and breakfast. Then, in order to publicize its opening, I hired the amazing Asimov to spend the night in it. The amazing who? I understand he was a fairly popular Las Vegas magician. Yes, correct. And with his death, Lauderhouse has finally lived up to its nickname, Slaughterhouse. His death? What are you saying? You're saying ghosts killed him? He jumped from a second story window, yes. Because a ghost scared him. That's what we believe, Mr. Um... Vicente. Vicente. May I ask you a question? Why are you here? Why am I here? Because I said so. Because he said so. Mr. Lauder, am I mistaken, or did you agree that my team and I would photograph and exercise the Lauder House ghost? Yes, but only if Mr. Murphy and his associates go along to protect you. What? What? I will not be responsible for another tragedy. If I could afford to just let Lauder House go and absorb the loss, believe me, I'd do so. But the restoration was just too expensive. I need to make this bed and breakfast work. But they'll only get in the way. They know absolutely nothing about psychic phenomenon. They go with you. Or you don't go. Dr. Goldberg, my men and I are professional security operatives. And if there is something, well, dangerous in that house, then your three best chances of survival is sitting right here. 